Hello everyone, this is Bolt Matrix for The Chosen Prime, and today we are taking a look at the brand new Hasbro MPM-5 Barricade, otherwise known as Masterpiece Barricade. This figure is currently available on thechosenprime.com. The figure comes with everything you see here, the first of which is this fancy accessory, which can be used in robot mode, more on that later. The box, some very nice directions, and the figure itself in this beautiful 2007 Mustang police car. Now the police car mode itself is very heavy for its size. It actually feels about twice as heavy as the Masterpiece Bumblebee figure, which we have already seen. It's very nicely detailed. The only oddity in this mode has to do with the placement or the coloring of the hood. This section right here in the middle of the hood is slightly lighter than the rest of the plastic around it. Also, the plastic itself feels more metal than actual plastic, and other parts of the figure feel metal and die cast as well. Barricade's transformation is pretty darn intuitive given that this is a masterpiece figure. It also is very reminiscent of his original deluxe class figure, which is pretty cool. Hasbro and Takara did a fantastic job designing this guy. If you just follow the directions, you shouldn't have any trouble. It does, however, feel like you're going to be ripping certain sections off from the figure, though you're really not. You're not going to be able to break much on this guy, at least from what I can tell. The figure does have the typical car transformation of the head is hidden underneath the hood of the car, it's actually right there, and the rear of the vehicle mode turn into the figure's feet. So there is that, but it's actually a fun transformation once you get it down. The transformation is definitely different than Bumblebee, which I am grateful for. Bumblebee's transformation was and is very good, but can be problematic in certain spots. So can Barricade, but it is a definitely, but it is definitely a different transformation. A lot of panel swapping, a lot of flipping around of little spots and little pieces there. Thankfully, everything pays together very well. Once the arms are fully transformed, the rest of the transformation is very easy. Pop off the top of the vehicle mode, take the front of the hood, fold that down, flip that whole section up and out of the way, take the entire front of the vehicle mode, flip down the cattle catcher, then flip the entire front of the vehicle mode over like that, and it will flip around and fold back into place, plugging, plugging into this little peg hole here. Once you get everything folded down and connected into place, take the shoulders, and this is something that a lot of reviewers and myself included have missed. The shoulders will flip forward and snap into place, like so. Now you can fold them up over like that, and they do look pretty good folded up like that. And then the section here can fold down, and there are two little tab holes right where the tips of my fingers are, and that will peg the roof of the trunk, or I'm sorry, the hood, into place. And then we just flip up the sections like that, and then take the legs, fold them up, and flip up the little skirts there. Something I did miss in the transformation while recording it, and it's very easy to miss, the little catcher here on the front folds down and then gets slid into this opening section that then gets covered up by the rest of the torso as it comes down and snaps into place. The robot mode we end up with is really neat. It is very, very cool, very alien looking. Masterpiece Barricade sports 26 points of articulation, meaning you can pull off several very cool poses, very threatening poses as well. The overall design of the figure works incredibly well. However, it is slightly limited, especially in the wrists and the hands because of the way the transformation is done. The Barricade is exactly the same height as Bumblebee, even though he is proportioned differently. As you can see, Barricade's arms are much longer and much lankier than Bumblebee's. That does end up giving you some interesting diorama possibilities. And for other Masterpiece scale figures from left to right, we have Make Toys Rioter Despotron, MP10 Prime, and Make Toys Howling Meteor. Barricade's head sculpt is absolutely fantastic, and the coloring on it is equally excellent. It does feel more like a skull than a head, though. The back of the head is completely unpainted. He does have one little gimmick here where he can open his mouth like that and scream, Are you username 217? 
Okay, that's enough out of you. Now we're going to talk about the accessory, which I like to call the death wheel. It comes with this little stand that just slides right off, and then we have the wheel. Whee! So, to get Barricade to wield said wheel, we first have to take the arm, transform it back to the way it originally was, then fold it back up and peg it into place in the elbow, and there is a little peg right there that this section will peg into right here. However, this peg does not hold into that peg hole very well. The visual effect you get from the weapon is quite neat, and I like it a lot. However, my figure, its elbow is not strong enough to actually hold on to that thing. And, as you saw, it has a tendency to fall off. Barricade is currently retailing for $109.99 over at thechosenprime.com. If you really like this figure, I would suggest going over there and picking it up as soon as you can. Thank you so much for watching this video review. Again, I am Bolt Matrix for thechosenprime.com. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you all next time.